Riddler Year One. Now, this is a comic that came out last week. I've waited months for a release date for this thing. And when they finally announced the release date, uh, I couldn't go to the store for several days. And then after several days after getting it, I didn't have time to actually sit down and read it till now. If you don't know what this is, uh, basically, in the new Batman film, Paul Dano plays the Riddler. And... He announced before that movie even came out that he had written a comic called Riddler Year One, which is kind of a play on Batman Year One, which is basically the first year of Batman being Batman. So basically he'd written this. There was no release date, anything like that at the time. I had waited months for this because I really loved his portrayal of that character. The political satire and, uh, you know, Things that had to say in that movie were just very unique and interesting. It was a very unique, updated, cool portrayal of this character. And uh, Paul Dano is an excellent actor. If you've seen him, things for that, like There Will Be Blood or There Shall Be Blood. I forget what it's called. I forget which one. I forget which one of those it is. I own the movie. I need to watch it again. But yeah, excellent, excellent actor. An excellent job as this character. And so I was very interested to see what this comic was going to be. This artwork in this comic is the first thing I'll spotlight. is absolutely gorgeous. However, the paper this thing is printed out of is not the best. So, which page is it? Right here. It's already torn and coming off. And I've only read this once. I've only opened it twice. I've only read this once. And this book has already fallen apart. Very, uh, very carefully pull this out and read this. It is very difficult to keep protected. It is an excellent, excellent read, though. I think what's great about this book, uh, the art in this book is gorgeous. The art actually does a lot to enhance the story of this book, which is, there isn't a lot here in terms of developing this character, but it's just an interesting read to kind of understand where the Riddler was coming from even more because this character the way this book is written is it written it's written from the perspective of of Paul Dano's character and as I was reading it I realized I feel like I'm reading an actual psychopath's thoughts where his mind's descent into madness and through that it gets this really interesting uh perspective on this character and, and his descent into madness, what happened to him throughout his life to make him the way he is, to make him this demented person who eventually goes and does some of the shit he does. It very much feels real and apt to real political people. Look at, um, you know, I mean, this is just kind of on my mind anyways, uh, the attack on Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi. You know, you can see kind of the elements of the man who did that and, and how it's similar to the Riddler in a lot of ways. And I think... A lot of people have criti criticized the movie for trying to be too topical, but I feel like you don't need to read into the political nature of that. You could just read the story as it is and still read into those layers and story and context to the evolution and story of this character. And it's just really interesting. I, I You know, like I can just enjoy the Riddler in the movie as a fantasy story about this crazy psychopath that does all this shit, shit, you know? But then you could also look deeper into it and it becomes more interesting, you know? And I think so, I hate that people criticize it like that because it really just feels like people don't want anything to deal with politics in movies, but it's not blatant, it's not in your face. It's, it's there for sure and it's not hiding its message, but it's also not making the message its point. It's making it just naturally fit into these stories and in the, into these characters. And I really like that about this book. Very excellent, well-written book. Again, it's written by uh, Paul Dano. Absolutely beautifully designed artwork. It is a very well-put-together book. If you love uh, the new Batman movie and you want more of that kind of content, absolutely pick that up. Uh, you can also read that in the prequel novel, which I did read. And uh, that's a good pick up two not as good as this though honestly uh, absolutely excellent 